Oh, we are put it first. If you see how much I made, I know that I had a nerve. Switch what's sides. good? What's good? Y'all yeah, welcome to the Gen TV podcast. As always, your boys. Hey, you want the sauce, guys? And as always, we have some very, very special guests in the building today. We got the host of the Weed and Whiskey podcast in here. Yo, it's been a long time coming. Hell yeah. yeah. yeah it is, man. Nigga, yeah. when I came across y'all motherfuckers, I was like, I had to tap in with y'all niggas. <laughs> I, love like, I love y'all progression, though. I'm going to keep it a bug. I'm going to keep it a bug, right? Yeah. I'm bougie. I'm picky. <laughs> okay. And I don't care to fuck with all the platforms and podcasts like that. Really? I don't. You, like... Because I know the hard work I put in with our platform, okay. and I don't see the reciprocation on other platforms. Mm. So when I see that in a platform, I gravitate towards it. Okay. okay. And that's where it was with you guys. Man, that's honorable, bro. Yeah. I so that's what I'm saying. I... I because we're both podcast babies right here when it comes to our podcast. COVID and, uh, babies. COVID, COVID babies. COVID, I mean, yeah, COVID babies. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people started at the same time but did not survive. Yeah. yeah. Nope. So that's why I don't take people serious. They're on and off. Yo, because yo, I off. think most people, yo, I tell you, within the first year, if you're not famous, people just say, fuck it. This yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, they're not trying even. to get big immediately. In the first three episodes. In the what? first three episodes. They're trying to get big like, immediately, you know? People yeah. see that five views and be like, oh, damn. Yo, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as popping as I thought yeah. I was. <laughs> nah, yo, I'm going to tell you this, yo. The thing about podcasting, that's the most humbling thing, right, to a popular person because, yo, a lot of popular people, right, think they have real support. Like, they'll mm. have 10,000 followers on Instagram, Facts. Facebook, Twitter, all that shit, right? And then they'll start a podcast or they'll start some type of venture and then realize that they really have no one in their corner to support them. Yeah. Like, that shit is humbling as fuck. fuck. Yeah, it is. I mean, the biggest thing is like, like I said, like we talk about all the time, starting anything, you really start to realize like who's in your corner, you know? Like, which is some real yeah. shit. Which is mm-hmm. no one. And everybody, everybody, at, at first, yeah, yeah. nobody's so, right But when you start picking up traction, you start doing this, people yeah. start, oh, yo, uh, well, you know, what if I start doing this? <laughs> honestly, I think part of the reason nah. why we became so successful off the jump, because we honestly, our our traction was just like, it was just high off the jump. Like we literally just came out the ballpark and was rolling. People loved us. Okay. But I feel like the reason why it became popular is because we never focused on making our friends like us. Mm. Like that was never our priority. Like we spoke on that and we we never said this podcast is for our friends. It yeah. was to reach other people. Okay. So if our friends never shared it, never liked it, it never bothered us because yeah. it was never for them. Are you two single? I am. He's You're? Not, he's I'm not. married. Really? For, oh, yeah. I'm married for how long? <laughs> <laughs> married <With dress kids. laughs> You know, I think that's a big thing, too, because you always kind of try to be considerate of, like, who the person you're in a relationship with as well. Because I just got out of a relationship not too long ago, and I'll be mindful of the things I was saying. Oh, well, I don't I give a fuck what I say on here. You know, no, like, no, 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 no. See, see, the thing about it is... He said, nah, fuck that. <laughs> she got to understand. When I say things, I say things because I'm trying to feed the family. Right. Yeah. So I'm saying things for content. I'm not saying things... Sometimes I mean it, sometimes I don't. But that's not up to. But that's why you tune in. Yeah, that's why you tune in. <laughs> to figure out. You get to hear the like rest. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just follow a clip Let's, and be like, oh, no. Nah, but the problem is, I think the world is a little too literal. You know, like they want the things you say is what the perception that the people are going to have of you, and then like they're going to obviously perceive you as this type of person. Like we got, we almost got um banned off of TikTok for me saying one line, and which. It was kind of crazy. Bro, like, <laughs> it my, was kind of crazy. But like, get flagged what on did TikTok you say? Every other video. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get back. Into yeah. that. We'll tell you off camera. Yeah. <laughs> I get flagged on TikTok every other video. TikTok is probably the most censored platform out there. Yeah. The yeah. most censored Yo, platform. It's sele- I think it's racially, it selectively censored. Yes. Probably. Bro, the amount of white people I see using like black music with like the most insane curse words. That we can't anytime we say this shit, yeah, it's a problem. We get fucking flagged, but they have music with it. It's it's insane to me. See, the, the, the amount music, of titties I see is the music insane. thing. I mean, is why do we that use the internet? It's race, though. <laughs> <laughs> what other point does the internet have? There's no other purpose to the internet other than titties and ass. <laughs> I mean, I was, I'm not complaining, but if <laughs> I drop an end bomb every now and then, let me slide. Yeah, like, if I see a fight here and there, yeah, it's a plus. But yeah, I yeah. go on to see titties and ass. That's the only reason. If I want to have a real life, I'll just put my phone down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what? That's a fact. You know, you know. Well, I'm not gonna say that. 
That's when the marriage trip part came in. He thought th- it was babe. I thought, babe. I thought, I thought we don't filter for the yeah, for the yeah. no for the podcast. No, man. I do. That's why I said you gotta <laughs> listen. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. Yo, instantly I folded. The, instantly folded. I throw the crazy shit on the front end and on the back end. I apologize. Okay. No, every time you saw the argument uh, a couple months from now. Oh, yeah. like, that's what you know. This clip Funny came out. Oh yeah, you quo you. You like just Instagram for ass and titties. I be trying to scroll past that shit fast as hell. Yo, you know what? Yo, Instagram and the algorithm. Was a real, a real assholes for like putting all that shit in your fucking um for you page. Like, what's yeah. you, oh yo, you like two, you like two ass pics. The whole you for can. you page is this a porn. Is, is can, a porn yo, I mean, what is this garbage? They're trying to make you seem are... like you're a sex addict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your girl is around. Like, yeah. what is this filth? That's, 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 that's two ass. They gotta type every ass. <laughs> <laughs> my wife come in the room. I just throw my phone. I'm like, I'm not even about to watch you look at me. I'm gonna keep it above, bro. I go a week without watching ass and just two ass. Nah, what you gotta do? You gotta you gotta double tap it, save it for later. So when you go to the bathroom, you get to ask actually watch the video okay yeah. i got a privacy okay. screen for a reason so i can watch it in public <laughs> oh that's oh you, oh you a cheater cheater you, nah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Just bra- I'm just brave okay. <laughs> you're not that brave you hide that shit yeah i'm brave with caution uh, <laughs> there's a difference there's a reason why niggas get caught so i do got a question for y'all okay since y'all are the weed and whiskey podcast mm-hmm. how much weed do y'all actually smoke it depends on the day yeah, if I, I have don't. a lot of editing to do, I'm probably smoking a half. How many? Of a half. How many? Um, you say you don't do blunts, right? Nah, no, no splits. 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 How many splits would you say you do a day? All right, so if I'm editing one video, I probably go through at least five splits in a two hour span. Damn, man, I get smoking, smoking. Yeah, it depends. Honestly, I smoke the most when I'm. Over his house, at <laughs> so he's a bad influence, is what you're you saying. You know? say like that? It's because I got, I, I, am, got, though, I, I got kids. I'm married. I can't smoke in my house. Okay. I'm single with no kids, and I smoke at my house. <laughs> you smoke in the studio, so no, yo, yo, it's like yo, I, so on a my fault nothing. on an average day. Two to three, maybe, but okay. I don't smoke. And then when he comes over with me, he smoke five. Four to five, <laughs> six. This nigga go be going home fried. <laughs> fried when he leaves the studio. <laughs> I know his wife hates your ass. <laughs> yeah, she's like, we too. <laughs> Yo, so how much money would y'all say you're wasting? Don't go over it. Oh yeah, I'm not even talking about that. Give me, y'all can't ball for it. It's not a waste. Not a waste. It's not a waste. You don't think so? No, it's not a waste. Hell no. There's a reason why I turned what I do into a brand. Okay. So it don't have to be a waste. I've learned, months? Yeah, I've learned instead of change the way you live, change the way you think. Okay. On some real shit because it's going to automatically change how you live life. It's mm. all about how you see it. So I'm one of those people where they'd be like, oh, I need to cut back on weed so I need to save money. Fuck all of that shit. <laughs> I need to make more money so, so I, I can smoke, smoke more weed. weed. <laughs> That's yeah. my philosophy on shit because Fuck budgeting. I'm yeah, make more money. money. Make more money. Apply myself more. Make, make more be a money. better person. You yeah. know? I don't so, know if this is the best advice. Yo, yo, <laughs> if yo, you're a hustler. You know what this reminds me of, yo? Um when Lil Uzi said, yo, I got face tattoos, so I couldn't get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make I myself. Had to make yeah, it. You gotta solidify your spot. Shit. So I've learned like the way you think is really the way life is for you. And I've 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 really become adamant on that. I know a lot of people might think it's crazy, but if you literally take a day into my life and see the radical ways that I live life and actually see how it translate into my living, you'd be like, oh, shit, this nigga's probably onto some shit. Okay. Like, that's me. Not good. That's yeah. just me. I'm just a god in a walking reflection. That's all it is. A god in a walking reflection. That's all it is. All right. But to answer your question, <laughs> on average, let's see. <laughs> this nigga's still back on the let's start out. Let's start per month. How much would you say you spend per, per month? Per month? Yeah. Not the, the, maybe it. Oh, okay. I stopped um, calculating it about five years ago. So yeah, I so maybe about, about uh, do about half every week or so. So yeah, about buck twenty, a month. thirty something. No, a week. <laughs> a week. A w- oh, damn. Yeah. So almost f- uh, like probably five hundred. Five hundred a month. About a month. About a car. Yeah, baby. I didn't even ask about whiskey yet. <laughs> no, no, we get, we get to that. Yeah, yeah, he said, like, was... "Get off the weed, nigga." Yeah. <laughs> nigga we know we spent a lot on that shit. <laughs> we didn't cheap. <laughs> Damn, five hundred a month, yo. That yearly what you budget is crazy. So yo, y'all gotta make it. Like, so there's no option. We have yeah, to, no, right? yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the point. That's, yeah. what I'm that's, that's, that's not a waste. Six bands a year. It's well, not six, a waste. Six yeah. grand a year. Because now it's 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 playing into the brand. Because to us, as weed and whiskey, we can't go into a room without one or the other. Okay, we can't. Like, honestly, we can't because the first question we ask is, where's the weed or whiskey? 
Mm. Or who's weed? Well, yo, yo, so yo, do you feel like you're addicted to weed? Hell no, you can't be addicted to weed. I, I disagree. Possibly. I disagree with that. As somebody who smoked weed regularly, you can't be addicted to weed. As I, from the outside, of course you can think see, that. See, but you think about it as right. So you could say, you could say you're addicted. You have to a weed. dependency on it. You have a dependency. So right, if I have free time, I might smoke weed. But if I'm busy. I don't have to stop what I'm doing to go smoke weed or mm. I'm going to get yeah, sick. Yeah, I'm not a... Yeah, 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 it don't happen like that. I could go the whole day if I have stuff to do. If I'm I probably want to smoke the whole time while I do shit. <laughs> but yo, yo, you don't think that's part of the addiction, though? Like, you thinking about doing it the whole time? Like, you no, can... Obviously, no. it's not strong enough where, like, you're just breaking down and going through sweats and shit like that. No, nah, honestly, because it just applies us to other shit in life. That's like thinking about what sale is going on at your favorite store while you're at work it's the same fucking shit you're mm. just thinking about what makes you happy you think about what gives you alleviation what gives you that type of freedom like to me it becomes an addiction when it takes over other parts of your lives okay. like when it affects how you handle other shit like you mm -hmm. said like if it's fucking with your family you're stealing from people around you. You're not being the person that you're supposed to be. It's taken mm -hmm. away from you as a character. Mm -hmm. Now we can have a conversation. But right. if you're literally... But you don't think that happens to people? It, it happens to people. It does. No, it so, does. so yes. you, but, It happens to people. But, but it's not the weed at that point. It's the person. It's the per I was going to say, yeah, you but say, but the, anything. Yeah, but that's the person for every addiction you could say, right? Nah, because there's some drugs you do and it just fucks you up mentally no matter what. And there's some drugs that's addictive that some people can do and it don't fuck them up. It's all about you as a person. It's all about your chemistry as a person, how it goes with. I the know, drugs but I'm saying, do. but that still would classify as an addiction. I've I personally know people that's done heroin and they're addicted. No, like no, like they don't they, get it. Yeah, and they're good. They're, they're good. Like exactly. they, they did it, but they're obviously they're not addicted, right? What like they're just. Do you hang out with? This guy just slipped out. Like, I personally <laughs> know people that do that. <laughs> that's good off of heroin, nigga. Bro. <laughs> These niggas get a buzz off of here. Bro, you don't know people. It's not me. Yo. It's not me. I, I do not do it. I his hang friend, out with you. His friend groups and my friend groups <laughs> mesh in certain areas, but not Yo, not tell me. <laughs> I don't know, man. Every time we go outside, me and you together. It <laughs> ain't me doing it. Let me look at you now. <laughs> Bro, you Sir, have you ever yo, tried heroin? Yo, <laughs> get, but yo, you told me you know people that do coke. I know people that Everybody know knows somebody do coke, though. Everybody does know somebody yeah. that's coke, right? <laughs> yeah, coke ain't really good. Heroin. heroin? That's, heroin that's a quiet drug. Yo, but I feel drug, like, yo, any, everybody... Dolph, yo, Dolph, nigga. I feel like everybody that smokes weed, like, religiously, mm -hmm. says they're not addicted to it, right? But then it's like, yo, they've never tried not to do it. Like, I would say... I, I have it. tried not to smoke I would weed. say... I know. How long, I, I did it. I how tried long have, not to. How long did you not do it for? Two uh, days. <laughs> I went I went like I went I'm not gonna lie to you I do go to work And I go home I'm like yo I wanna smoke a spliff right now I had no, phases I'm you, I, feel like, yeah. I feel like you could be a f Yo no, I, I had like phases So I okay. had phases with mine right So My major phase When it came to smoking Was I went to Florida for a week And I just stayed in Florida By myself For a week and You just went on a solo trip? Yeah like a solo trip And My routine for smoking changed Okay That made me realize okay. That I can switch my routine and it doesn't change how I go about things. Because usually when I wake up, I roll up before work, I bun a spliff, you know, get my mind right, meditate and shit like that, and I go to work. But that five days, I didn't have nothing to do. Like, it was nothing to do. Like, literally, my days was to wake up and do nothing. <clears throat> okay. So it was like, I can smoke weed and do nothing, or I, I, can, do I can just go outside and just enjoy that shit. So I did it, and then after that, my whole routine for weed changed for a year. I actually never smoked before work for a year. Okay. So, like, I guess I know I can make... But you smoked after work. Of course. That was okay. my reward. For not smoking before work. Yeah, that I was able to not cuss nobody out. All right. That's a reward. You know how bad I be want to cuss people out at work? Do you drink work? coffee? What? Do no. you drink coffee at all? Maybe, like, you once... A month type of thing. Like, do I'm, I don't, any, I don't really. Do you have oh, any daily yeah, clean ass nigga? Do you have any? No, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even saying. No, I, I. Do I have any daily things that mm -hmm. I do? Yeah, I would say honestly, my biggest addiction would mm -hmm. probably be social media, and it's like, and it really, I got addicted to social media because of podcasting, because I'm like forcibly have to go on the shit, and I feel mm -hmm. like now it's like it's like I'm codependent on social media. Okay. I feel like I have an addiction to social media. That, I feel like that's my biggest vice. Like, I don't drink like that. I don't smoke like that. Mm -hmm. Yo, and I think when I say, like, I feel like obviously the word addict isn't the best word, right? When I say, like, people are addicted to weed, I'm not even saying No, we that. get where you're going. I'm not yeah, even yeah. I'm not saying We use like the word a, dependency. Yeah, it's not even yeah. a negative thing, right? But I feel like people, like, they'll say, like I said, like, I, I personally feel like you can be addicted to weed, right? Do I think it's, a like, a horrible addiction? No. Do I think it's something that you could, like, 
function while being addicted to for sure it's not like i feel like if you're addicted to heroin like you're not going to work yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, the thing. <laughs> yeah. that's a contradiction if you're functioning addicted I don't think so. Not really. To not me, that's really. a contradiction. Not really. Because yeah. honestly, like, I think we're a rare. functioning <laughs> addict. Like we, but, we we have, but like, we all have, we're all addicted to something, right? I, I'm a functioning addict because I'm, I'm addicted I probably, to social media. I probably overindulge here and there, but I'm not addicted because I'm one of those people who's very stern on knowing self and having a good balance with self. Like, I know when I'm overbalanced with the things that I do. Okay. So that's why when people say certain things, it's not like a trigger, but it's like, I've worked so hard on trying to learn me than to let somebody from the outside tell me that the work that I put into so, so long don't mean anything. Like, that's what it means to me. Because it's not to say I can't learn more about me, but it's sometimes it's a show that people don't take time to learn me, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Because everybody's different, you know? Like... <clears throat> I I got the perfect guest for you guys. Um, just, Rick Gat. Rick Gat. Like, nah, like we, got this, nah, we got this one guy. That's crazy that you said the same name. Man. But, same. Nah, like, you're like, you sound just like him. Like, that's like, I got I got to put you on. Like, but that's the shit he'd be on. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I'm all knowledge about, yourself. Yeah, I'm all up. Because to me, like, just because you don't eat meat and I stop eating meat don't mean I'm going to be as healthy as you or healthier. Yeah. Because one journey doesn't mean it's the same journey for the others. Like, you have to know how to find your own path. Yeah, sorry. So that's what I've been big on life in probably like the past decade and just finding my own path, knowing what's for me and not letting <laughs> others dictate how I see what's for me, if that makes sense. I mean, but to be honest, I think the the issue is that we're looking at the word addiction and like, uh, like you have it. to do it. You know, you don't have to do it. Like, I feel like there's different levels of addiction as well. Like mm -hmm. you can do something like and. Not all addictions are bad addictions. There are people addicted to working out. There's people that are addicted to sex. There are people that's, addicted that's to what pornography. I'm to do, there's addicted to people that overeating. There's people that are addicted to drinking and smoking and doing but all these things. That's, so a, like, that's a contradiction to me because even overindulging in something good is still bad. Because you can drink a lot of fucking water, but that don't mean you're not going to still drown your inside. I mean, but that's but once again, that's based off a person and I that's get based that. off or, of, or based saying, off of if you don't Mount work out, if you work out too much don't mean you're not gonna right. strain a fucking muscle it, and that's person but that's, 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 that's person to person balance, right but everybody's balance is different your threshold and my threshold absolutely when it comes to certain things is different a thousand so percent. that's why i like people to understand like <clears throat> everybody's threshold is going to be different when it comes to certain things yeah that's why certain people can do certain things and go a certain level and not be like affected compared to somebody Fucked else up. 100%. But to say you can't be addicted to weed, I think you can be. I think you could be addicted to anything. Yeah. You could be addicted to success. You could be addicted to working. You could be addicted to so many different things, bro. It doesn't just have to be like, I think when people say addicted to weed, like they be like, no, you can't because they don't really view weed as like an actual drug. But you can be addicted to the effects of weed. I don't, I've been fighting with this for a little while now. Okay. Right. To be honest with you. Because now I've been coming to, I brought this up to you the other day. I said, I'm like, you know, I kind of want to try just not smoking for a day or two or whatever. Just not just not smoking. Because I also don't like the fact that, like, if I have a bad day, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go smoke a split. Cause you so mean, when yeah. I get that opportunity to go, I'm, I'm doing I'm going, it. I'm, do, I'm, I'm going to do I'm it. I'm going to relax <laughs> yeah. my day. I'm going to go chill. But I also don't like the fact that that's what I have to do. Right. I could do other things. I could try to find another way to calm my nerves i guess in a say yeah but i also don't find anything wrong with smoking weed and i like it and that's I mean, fine I'm yeah. but I'm also, <laughs> that's cool. i've also practiced meditation <laughs> mm. so i know how to get because nigga if you're at work on the job i can't just go outside and go smoke a split yeah so i've had to learn how to cope in my lowest moments without weed regardless of anything i'm a fucking grown-ass man there's no way I should not be able to handle no fucking situation without going through the things that makes me cope. Like, to me, it's not showing your strength as an individual at that point. Right. Like, you have to know how to know yourself and get past the things that you think you can't even get past. Like, that's part of fucking growing. Like, that's how you get stronger. Like, by breaking your fucking limits and barriers. If you don't test yourself, even at the moments you think you can't be tested... You're never going to be a better person. And you don't ever grow at that never. point. Never. And right. that's why I'm so confident in myself because I've been to points where I've wanted to commit suicide on some real shit just because I was so into my head. <clears throat> and even if I smoked a whole eighth back to back, it didn't help go. the it problem. Didn't it didn't. 
So I know weed does not solve my true issues in any way, shape, or form. And then I've also takes time to meditate and realize that solve my main issues better than weed. So I take that knowledge and like, to me, smoking weed is more of a meditation for me. Because when I come home from work and I roll up and I pour my drink, chances are everything around me is blocked the fuck out. I don't hear it. I don't see it. I call it my reflection time. I reflect on everybody I met. How I did you make me feel? Did I overreact in any situation? Did I underreact in any situation? Did I not hold my ground as, be- as best as I should have? So I, I look at all those moments <clears> and then I take the, what I learned and apply it to the next day. So that's how I move about a lot of shit. Yo, but to get to that state of mind, do you need the weed? So to answer that question is going to be hard because my journey toward to get this had a lot of weed in it. Okay. So I can't say I didn't need the weed. No, the, I know. Not, yeah, not, but, on, the, saying, not the on the journey. Played, yeah, but the weed played a part No, I, I understand it. that, but not on the journey to get there. I'm talking about, like, <clears> you feel like you've kind of are at a level where, like, you know, you not ended your journey, right? But you're you're at this level now where it's like, all right, this is what I do to um, decompress myself at the end yeah, of the day, right? So if, if honestly, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you don't have, like, another part of the journey to go to, but to right now, to get to that part where, like, all right, I'm, I get home, I'm out of work, like, I'm about to reflect on my day, you know what I'm saying, go over all the things that you just stated. But like, can you do that without the weed? Yes. Okay. Easily. All right. Because I've learned at the end of the day, when I reflect and smoke, it was a process, a journey. So when I learned to walk that journey without the weed and I realized I can walk that journey without the weed, I just started doing it. And now, honestly, to keep it a buck, I do it before I even get home from my reflection zone. So it's just a natural thing for me now. When I go through situations that make me uncomfortable, I take time to myself and I reflect why I was uncomfortable. Right. You know, why did I like everything? I just reflect on it. I, I just make it a natural part. And it wasn't easy. It took time. I mean, part of me is like torn between it because like I'm addicted to nicotine. You know, like that's my addiction. OK. But I've. I'm able to like go periods without I vape, vape vaping is my choice of nicotine. I could go periods without vaping. Like I went nine months previously, vape for three months, and so far I'm almost like at a month right now without vaping. You mm-hmm. know, so most people would be like, "Oh, you're not addicted to it," I, but I'm telling you, like I have a dependency to nicotine. That's the word you know? I use, dependency. Like, not dependency to, me, to addiction... the point where like it's, I'm, it's yeah. crippling dependency, but like. But you like if, the way it makes you. I, feel. I love it, but that's yes. what I'm saying. We does the same thing though. The, we, that's why that's why I said I don't use the word like I could always admit I have a dependency on it. Yeah, I, I would like always a, admit I feel that. like the word right. dependency is just a nicer word of a dick. Like, right. no, <laughs> dick is, like, to me it has levels. Like yeah. I'm one of those people who's big on definitions just because I'm a writer, so I'm big on like what certain <clears throat> words mean. And the okay. definition I, the example I always like to use is you never call a smile a smirk because a smile represents something different from a smirk. So okay. you always use it for the situation that it fits best. Right. So that's how I go about all my words when it comes to addictions and co- codependency or dependency. You're always going to use it for the situation it fits best. But now you have to take onto yourself to analyze the situation to see what words define that situation best. So what would you separate ad- addiction versus dependency? I think you touched on that earlier. Like but To like- me, addiction is when it translates to other parts in your life. Like, like, like codependency or dependency, it can lead to withdrawals. You can definitely have withdrawal moments because it's like, if I'm having a day, a moment in my day, and it's just tough, and I don't know how to deal with that, my first thought is I want to smoke right now. Mm-hmm. But the fact that I know I can't smoke, I'm going to go to other thoughts so I can get through that moment. So would that be dependency? To Do- me, yeah, that's dependency. Because I not- would call that addiction because I have the same thing towards nicotine. Nah, I like, think that, like, to yo, me, but- I feel like you have a good balance with it because the fact that you can go nine months without smoking nicotine that's nowhere near a fucking addiction in oh, any way, shape, or form. But I, I have, to, like, I'm I telling you, I know, I get it. But years of smoking. But you have a, you have my a strength power. with yourself yeah. to know that other things can come out of it without having to smoke. So, that, you know, like, you learn that there's other alternatives to that to get you through the moments where you think you need a nicotine. So, when would you call somebody who might go on a six month crack bit? And just don't smoke crack for the rest of the year. But for six months, three months. See, yo, the, the year, rules for crackers way <laughs> different, nigga. No, I agree with that. You talk about the big, you talk about 
talking about Big C? This is very different. Your first toe off the crack, you a crackhead. You crack once time, you a crackhead You a crackhead for life. Fact, you can't never Don't let me see you smoke crack once. That's like saying I suck dick once and that niggas Nah, you gay. Nah, 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 that's See, the rules for sex is way different. Just drugs is... No, but I was going to ask you a question. Like, you said you went nine months without nicotine, nigga. Can you go nine months without pussy? I'm at what? Like, by seven, choice? six? By choice? Yeah, by choice. What's Bro, I'm at like the... six hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a day and a half right now. <laughs> I'm on the CHO for some more right now, so. What is this? Uh, April? Yeah, I'm at like six months right now. You ain't get no pussy for the new year? Kind of sort of. You went pussy less no. all 2023? Kind of, sorta. Of. So when I say that out loud, it's like, wait, 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 wait. Out loud. When I say that out loud, what is a kind of, sorta of got some pussy? <laughs> All right, so you kind of put the tip in, but she's like, nah. I'm nah. Good. <laughs> did you use your? Did you count your flashlight as a kind nah, of sorta? Nah, count the flashlight. The flashlight, flashlight don't count. Uh, I actually, I don't even do use that shit. Yo, no speaking more, of addiction, yo, yeah. being cold. No bed, more. I nah, remember. I cut that shit out too. Yo, yo, I used to be addicted to porn, crazy. Yo, like, no, yo, crazy. Yo, I had a summer in high school, bro. I had. Codependent, addicted. I was jerking <laughs> oh, off. Oh yeah, no, no. Bro, yeah, I had a whole. Had I had a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. summer in high school. I summer? beat that shit three times a day. <laughs> bro, from the mo- from I was. I remember this is how this is how I knew this is the mo- my my introduction to like pornography, bro. I was in Spanish class in the ninth grade, right? My boy goes to the teacher and was like, "Why is it that when you beat your dick, your headache goes away?" I said, "What? <laughs> well, who was? Like, I said, who was gonna, gonna tell me this?" <laughs> The next time I had a headache, you bro, I went. I went, I, went, I went to town, nigga. I thought I, was like, <laughs> I went to town, nigga. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack, bro. Like I like, literally, I never felt like what an orgasm was, bro. I was literally like healing over. Like my mom's about to find me <laughs> dead in her fucking bedroom. Nigga. Nah, <laughs> like, yo, yo, yo. Oh, you see him, <laughs> that was where the computer was. So, like I had to like use that shit. Yo, everybody's first nut was crazy. Yeah, I remember yeah, my yeah, first yeah, nut, yeah, bro. Yeah, wild, my bro. first nut was uncomfortable when I first masturbated. Honestly. Or it was uncomfortable. Like what? Because I didn't know what it felt like. Exactly, I didn't know yeah. what it was supposed to feel like. I was like, uh, is, am I supposed to be this relaxed, this uh, drained? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this? Yeah. Yo? You know? And then it's like, and I was like, and then went. This is how we're we're just I, really comfortable as men at this point. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, yeah, yeah my yeah, just point, all brother, your brothers at this we, point. We homies. We, we yeah, at this point, we're pockets. Yeah, right? yeah. No, but well, like the first time I did that shit, nigga, I was like, like when it was happening, I didn't know how to feel because I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't used to it. Yeah, 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 so it was like it was tingling, and it's like, do I continue? <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> I was like, well, so what now? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next question was, where do I put it? Yo, That's I, a good question. I, <laughs> I stood up. Oh, no. My oh, first that's time. crazy. Yo, you, yo. You're a wild man. No, no, no. no, no you no, get no. lightheaded was after. At that point. It was like that, it Bro, was a, it was my a, first time doing it, I was standing up. Oh, the I whole know, time. No, I the whole sitting. time. <laughs> I was sitting down at first. Were you doing pacing? <laughs> and when that moment came, I just stood up. And then it got everywhere. Oh. This, 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 so this guy's a question, marathon masturbator. Did you watch a video <laughs> while you were doing it, or was it pictures? Oh, back then it was... You it was had actually, to load, nah, nah, it was you a video. It was, video. it was a video? It was, yeah, it was, yo, a video. It was like, on um, no, whatchamacallit? Because oh. we had flip phones back then. I ain't. I, I had no phone. I had no phones yet. But um, nah, the phones. The phones used to do the gifts. Three times a day. The phones used to do the gifts. Yo, back I had, right. They didn't have the full video. They had like, yes. bro, bro and it was just a low by the top down. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. ca- 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 you catch a titty first. You got, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> yo, I think it was like yo, one of those H- ass, HBO bro. shit, like that you had to buy, like, yeah. like, like you just. Like yo, you package? just clicked on that shit. Yeah, something like sacred back then. Wait, so, yeah. you, so your parents paid for that shit? No, he they didn't know it. Huh? They didn't know it. Yeah, their bill was my, bro, my, If my mom, my parents are immigrants. Cable bill they didn't really read the penny. shit. Like, nah, it was like, how much is it? Yeah, yeah. If my mom's cable bill went up by a penny, she would have been on my neck. Or <laughs> like, who on my neck. Born in my house <laughs> for real. Like, <laughs> like I would have got shipped to the motherland. Like, like so you got to go. He's beating for his real. dick. Yo, no, yo, you know what's the, you know what's the the craziest shit about beating off to me, yo? What? When I was younger, I'm like, I never thought I'd be beating off at my age now. Like I thought, there was, honestly, yeah. sometimes I'd rather beat off. Yo, I thought there was a retirement age for beating nah. off. Like, I think as you get older, I think I hit. I think I hit. Nah, 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 I think nah, nah, as you get older, you get more comfortable and understand the importance <laughs> of beating off. Of beating off. Beating off. Yeah, nah, yeah, it's an important thing, my nigga. Like you have to master when to just beat your dick and get your nut <laughs> off yourself. You have to master the bait. Then to travel an hour, tamed, waste a whole bunch of gas, nah, yeah. or even go to maybe pussy. 
Bro, never waste your, your time keeps you, on maybe pussy. Beating your dick keeps you in line. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I always, and a bitch can never tell you did too much to get her pussy. Bro, I always tell people, like, yo, if you're, like, iffy about meeting up with a chick, jerk off first. And if you feel like, if you still feel still like meeting up with her afterwards, you know it's real. That post, yeah, yeah, yeah. that post nut clarity yeah. is real, bro. Yeah. That's good advice. That's, that's real. Are, I'm not going to want to go. Because most of the time. <laughs> like, oh, that dry? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I would. I got to find parking. Let me take, this, let me take this nap. Yeah, fact. We've it's all so done the trick like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to beat it up so I can last longer. Yeah. 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 And then you be like, I'm not even about to go no more. If you do that to do it and you actually go through with it. Yeah. You just keep going, keep but that's going. what I'm going back to it though. That's why I thought it was. I'm, well, I knew for a fact I was fucking addicted to pornography. Like I knew I, it was like every single day. Like I mean, no matter, no matter yeah, where, if no matter what, better, I'm addicted to getting nudes. <laughs> <laughs> that's his one addiction. Love getting nudes, you're not bro. Co- you're not codependent on no. that. that, that <laughs> <that's addictive. laughs> no, bro. No borderlines. No questions. Just said, if you send me a random nude right now, start scratching his neck. Chances like, are my friends won't hear from me for probably three hours. <laughs> Damn. Damn. If the nude is good, that's okay. what the fuck we having. In- <laughs> you you find out new shit about you. I don't think oh, I ever. Shit. I don't I think I ever like beat my shit to like a nude I got. I don't beat my life. shit, nigga. I just stare off Bro, yo, what dude, I can for do. three hours. Yes. <laughs> yo, dude. I'm a writer, dog. My imagination is wild and exaggerated. That's crazy. Dog. Yo, nudes are like Pokemon cards to me. Like you just collect, collect them. Yes. Like it's mm-hmm. just like a collection. Did you thing. delete Damn. your nudes? What? Did you delete no. your nudes? I don't have any nudes in my current phone. <laughs> no, are you single? No, I'm married. Too. Nah, it's oh, a, it's or, a, bro, it's a right, cool, so we go, we go, we go. Right, bro, I made the mistake of telling my, I made the mistake of so telling my late. ex that I had cool. nudes in my phone. Why would you do that? That's the dumbest rookie she asked, ever. Bro, I don't lie. Oh, don't niggas lie, are bro. honest nowadays. When it comes to <laughs> shit. Wow. So, so I gonna hold you. So that's what we do. Yeah, my problem too, though. Nah, yeah. I would tell the truth. I'd be like, yeah, I was. Yeah, bro, lying, lying saves relationships. Lying keeps relationships. You gotta keep up with them, and I don't got the time for that. Nah, you have to tell logical. And if you lie to me, if you lie to me, I'm snapping. It just, it just. You got to understand when she lied because she loved you. Fuck that shit. You lied to me because you, you love about yourself. small things. Nah, that's crazy. That's it. That's just I hate things. I hate people that thing. say that. I hate <laughs> that shit just got under my skin just now. No, <laughs> she lied because she I, loved you. I lied because I didn't want to get you mad. Bitch, I'm mad. It's better than saying I beat you because I love you. <laughs> my mom, I, that's what my mother told I me. Know I, know that was like that. That. I know somebody who said I only put my hands on you because I love you. And I looked at that nigga like, what? Yeah. To, like to you? That's nah, to right. a girl. Oh. I looked at it and he was like, what? All right, let me and then I looked at the bitch like, what? I mean, you, you grew up in a Caribbean it? household, so you know that there's facts yeah, to that, bro. That's there's why I facts to that. Like, let, let me ask y'all this, yo. Yo, when y'all get a nude, y'all show y'all boys? No. That's my nude. Depends no, on yeah, how much I, I care about the girl. What? I never was a dude to do that. Nah, nah, actually, you know what? No, it depends it depend on how, how easy it was or if nah. it was like... If how it, much you cared not, about her? No. You're going to know not I even, had a nude, not even. but you're going to know what the nude is. You're going to know I got a nude. That's all that matters. Hmm. That's all that matters. You just didn't know nah, I got the so nude. Never, I'm not never, a kiss and tell type of yeah, nigga. You, you never shown a nude? I did it before I was dumb. Yeah. But as I'm but like, like, that's as not I, my after I did it, it like Why was it dumb? Because I was a teenager. We do dumb shit when I was a teenager. You don't... You never show the pussy that you're fucking or want to fuck to a nigga who could potentially fuck that same pussy. If you've ever seen me with her, you'll never see a picture of her. Facts. Okay. Never, yeah, if I fucked her more than twice, I'll say, you'll never see I'll say no. Ever, Facts. Ever. Like, okay. you never introduce a bitch to a nigga who's competition, even if she's your best friend. Like, if it was a, one, a if it was a one crack, possibly. Yeah. Like, if it was a one crack, and I know I'm never going to see her again. Okay, yeah, I get that. Get the, that those I'll are the circumstances the that okay. I would have shown. Y'all run like, trains? What? Y'all run no, trains? Not, you never ran a train on a bitch? No. Never? No. Never thought about it? Not even nah. Never about looked it. at it being like, oh, you'd be pretty if you had a train ran on you. That's crazy. <laughs> nah. Yo, all right, I want you to I want you to hear what you said to me out loud, all right? <laughs> you wanna say it again? No, nah, no, nah, I'm gonna say it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna say it to you. Yo, you're you're asking me, right, if I ever saw a young lady that I found beautiful, it's like, yo, you're beautiful and I would like to participate in sexual activities with you, but I need another penis around. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> that, did not sound like nothing I said. <laughs> that did not sound like nothing Bro, I said. You said you you I asked said, you asked me. Was there a bitch out there that you ever wanted to run a train with? That you that ever sound looked like at her and I be said. like, you know what? I think you will look extra pretty. That's exactly if you what had I'm a saying. Train ran on you. Yo, but no. <laughs> I want the Yo. pussy to myself. Like, I'll be honest with you. I've never, I've never seen it. a woman that I thought that either. 
Like I need some dicks in here. Like, this, like you know what this room is like missing? Me and my homeboys. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, no, I like this sexual encounter, but my homeboys would love, love this it. shit. Let me call these things right now. <laughs> First of all, we're in 2023. A train does not have to involve. I have had other that though. Men. Hold on, hold on, hold it's on. Twenty twenty three trains can involve other women. There's toys out there that they can strap onto their fucking um, pelvis. Still, I'm, I'm not. Oh, right, wait, wait, wait. He's uh, onto something right now. I know, He's onto something. I'm, He's onto something. I'm on the fence. I'm on the. <laughs> fence. I never thought about it, <laughs> but it's like, all right. It's not, that's not a bad. What idea. kind of strap is she getting? Like how big is yeah, the strap? Yeah, she can't yeah. get no no crazy. It can't be bigger shit. than mine. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> It we got to go shopping together. It can't be, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It can't be bigger than mine. We yeah. measuring. She got to get a she rabbit. She got to beat me off yo, and you know, measure yo, it. Yo, yo, yo. But that's here's crazy. The, but here's this shit, right? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yo, women, women aren't that smart, so she's going to, like, equivalent that strap. <laughs> to, that's worse than what I just said. <laughs> yo, because the strap ain't going down, right? Like, because we go down after you finish, right? You need some rebound time. The strap is just continuous. So the bitch can be like, damn, like, the bitch fucking me better than the dude. Never. You nah, want to know nah, why? Nah. You want to know why that don't intimidate me? What? Because I bring skin to the yep. table. Skin brings a whole nother. No, nah, for sure. Tell that to lesbians. For sure. I no, I, I've had I've I had will. this conversation before. I will. Yeah, we'll I've, I've had this conversation. I, I've had I've had conversation I've with had lesbians who've been tempted to try penis again because of the skin. Yeah, bro. I've I've had this. Don't conversation. let it fool you, my nigga. I've had they this want conversation. babies, dog. Don't let it fool you, my nigga. <laughs> That's true. Yo, a lot of these lesbians, if it push come to shove, they will stop being a lesbian for the right factor. But I have heard multiple times that uh, even chicks that go like back and forth, they like. That they don't just don't do it. Yeah, hey, I've heard that skin. before too. I believe it. I believe dog, it. Skin, skin to skin action is the best action out there, dog. Don't know. The way your rubbers do not go raw in these bitches because it's not. First good. of all, it's not pretty please out here. get to know the bitches that y'all fuck. So they can fuck them raw. That's yeah. a, there. You that's yeah. a, that's good advice. You been it's wonderful advice. I think that's really good advice. Honestly, take it to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> First date. Yo, we go to the doctor, baby. We go to the clinic. Yo, would yeah. you? Yo, would you? Would you have sex with a stud? Yes. <laughs> I'm married, so he was no, confident but in I that. Was yes. Single, yes, I've actually thought about this already. <laughs> yes, I, this is a conversation I had in my head. Uh, That's some real shit. Studs have some of the fattest asses and the they best do. titties. Yo, you ain't never, I'm about to say, you ain't never see that. Yo, they be bro, thicker bro. than a motherfucker. Bro, why are studs so thick, bro? Yo, it's it's kind no, of some why, bullshit no, the because better yo, is, the better question: Why do thick girls become studs? Mm. I like the way this guy thinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's that weed talking. And, and how much tape do you use a day? I will untape them titties, baby. I will untape them titties. It's actually on Is that my what bucket doing? list. I don't know. It's so like a lot a of big titty girls. Yeah, they tape the titties. Really? A lot of girls. I want to cross it off my bucket list. To untape the titties? Look me here. I want to untape your titties. <laughs> That's a Supply wild this man. Respectfully. With some tape titties, please. So please. I want tape titties in my life. I think, okay. they have, I think they have Facebook groups for people like you, bro. <laughs> There's a Facebook group like, for everybody. I think there's dark no, web that's, people. That's there's a, dark web That's a watch list. Like <laughs> that's an FBI watch list right there. I want to uh, tape your titties. <laughs> you're the reason why. I'm for permission. Craigslist got banned because of you. <laughs> First of all, niggas got rocked on Craigslist regularly. I'm asking for permission to see titties. At right. least I'm telling you what you're getting yourself into. Tape all right, titties. All right. So I got some questions for y'all, especially since um y'all are codependent on marijuana. All right. <laughs> so I'm addicted. <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yo. That's the first all step, right. right? So let me ask y'all this, I right? Reach there. <laughs> especially, especially since you're married. Uh-huh. All right. This is um a tweet I found. Niggas be acting like smoking with the opposite sex is cheating. If you suck dick the prior before, I ain't smoking with you. Niggas be smoking. So basically, with... like, are you okay with your girl or wife smoking with another man? Nah, we ain't. I mean. Is that cheating to you? No. It depends. I smoke with other people girls all the fam, time. It's fam, if it's like... yeah, Obviously, that's in your benefit. That doesn't Nah, hurt. I'm not trying to fuck them, though. Yeah. Bro, yeah. honestly, keep it up. Cool. I'm 30 years old, my nigga. I don't yeah. need to fuck everything I smoke with, my nigga. Okay. I don't. Yeah. And honestly, to keep it up, I don't want to fuck a lot of girls. Uh. I think they're trash mentally, and I don't want my penis inside of them. Okay, honestly, respectfully. If you ain't never, if you ain't never talked to this person one day, you just but oh, I might just go smoke with this nigga. Then we got a problem. Okay, then so they need some type of prior relationship. Yeah, this can't just be no new shit where you. Yeah, just, like, like there's a reason why you. Yeah, go smoke. like you can't like, be popping can't, up smoking like, with this it nigga. It could be like somebody right, how about you this? met I'm a, somebody I'm, else. I'm gonna set this up for you, okay, Mister Married Man over there. Yeah, I'm going. I want to. Right. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this before you start the story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I'm a married man that will crash out about a lot of shit. So, <laughs> so he kills for his pussy. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and answer that. All right. All so right, go ahead right, and right, ask right. the question. Go ahead. <laughs> New guy comes up to the job. Uh huh. Six months in, he already gonna die. <laughs> I already know he's gonna Six die. Six months in, babe. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, you know, Joe. I want to go. We're gonna go smoke after work. No. That's some. That's, that's cheating. That's, 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 that's a nigga she know. Not cheating, but yeah, listen, nah. That's a nigga she not, know. That's not a nigga she know. That's a nigga <laughs> she know from work. I have a question. That's a for nigga you she now. know from work. Up. Do you feel like there's a double standard when it comes to that? That is making me think. Like, is it okay for your girl to go smoke? Is it not okay no, for your girl to go smoke with a coworker? But in your mind, it's okay for you to go smoke with a female co-worker? I, mm. But I wouldn't do that because I already know my wife would look at me like, why the fuck are but you But not a lot of men like, think like that. Like, they're not cool with another man smoking with their girl because they know how men are. Yeah. But they can go smoke with another girl knowing how yeah, they are. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of men use um, smoking as like a way to get yeah. near women. Oh, yeah. They, like, yo, yeah, let me, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah. they'll just DM me like, yo, let me smoke you up, right? But then... They're really just trying to pipe Fuck them up. Yeah. Yes. Let's not fucking be censored yeah. about that shit. They're trying to put their penis in your fucking pooty hole. Yeah. yeah that's it. Pooty hole? Yeah. I mean, pooty. What the fuck I was trying to post this on TikTok, but Wait, we'll pussy, is that. Is that pussy, pussy and booty at the same time? Uh-huh. Is that pussy and booty at the same time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I they're even... only a half inch apart, man. <laughs> is so that the metric right there? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he measured it before. <laughs> right. <In> my tongue. <laughs> That's what happens when you're married. Yeah. You try new shit. <laughs> I haven't got no, to I'll do it. You, like, if, oh, you're taking two to if, Jamaican terms. <laughs> oh, you're a Rasta. You're a Rasta. <laughs> no, but I'm not never nobody. Oh. <laughs> so you, you don't eat pussy? No, I do, but I'm not eating no ass. I'm not putting my tongue in no, no butthole. Okay. Bro. That's some that's crazy to me. All right. <laughs> How long do you have to I be gotta... married for your girl to eat your butt? To eat my butt? Yeah. I've never got my butt eat. So well, that's not that's not eating. Yeah, that's not what what is. <laughs> no, I mean I yo Are I, you open to the idea eventually in your marriage to spice so it up I've, a little I've, bit? I've said this before. I'll, I'll say it again, right? <laughs> I've been offered to get my ass eaten twice in my life. Wait, what? And, yeah. And I've declined both times. I will never say never, but it just doesn't <laughs> appeal to me. Like, I don't... Yo, you know, I, here, here's how... Here's how I explain it, right? You know, like, you ever, like, you know when you want to get your dick sucked? Like, mm-hmm. you, your body, like, you have a craving yeah. for to get your dick sucked, you right? Know, I never had that craving, but... but yo, but, yo, it's like, you know, when, like, your, like, your dick's telling you, like, yo, we need a mouth on here yes, immediately, right? Warm. Yo, my asshole's never called to me. It's like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> we need a tongue in here, bro. Right now. And then, you know, the other part about that is, as a man, bro, men don't take the cleanest shit, bro. That has to be the nastiest I woman in the world. I hope they take the, the cleanest showers. <laughs> you bathe. Yo, would you, would you ever but, get your ass eaten? I'm only going to admit this on this platform, but I had it done once by accident. It wasn't by accident. Yo, every, I it's swear. Bit, I'm, 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 I'm afraid. That accident shit I'm killing afraid. Afraid. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I, saw, I, heard it all right. I heard it out loud. I was like, that's dumb as fuck because yeah. the bitch knew what she was doing. Uh. But yeah, it was on my birthday and she tried something different. <laughs> he really tried to paint the pitch. He really tried to sell it. No, nah, my birthday. Nah, it was on my birthday. She tried something different. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Going in, like she was giving me a head. Okay, okay. She started licking the balls, then the gooch started getting licked, and the gooch felt really no, good. No, the gooch I'm the down gooch I'm down with the always, gooch. I'm not down with the gooch light. cause you're already getting too close. Nah, the gooch is Damn. a green light by far. But she got to the gooch yeah. and then she got to the Yeah. 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 So I was like, mm, uh, and then I let her continue for a so little bit. So she took your virginity. Yeah. Take like your booty virginity. Yeah, in a sense. <laughs> That's crazy. With her tongue. <laughs> With her tongue. What's crazy about that? With her tongue. Mm. Hey, hey, yo, it. he's a he's a habitual like ass. Getter. I'm just listening to y'all. I get my ass all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening to y'all. And he, no, yo, and he, oh, I love that shit. Yo, he bro. Wait, 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 and my man's got the dump truck on him too. He thick. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> now yeah. that, that I didn't know crazy. what to pause just now. <laughs> there was a lot happening. I didn't know right what there. to say. There was, too to. Much, there was too much going I was on. Trying right to there. pause it before anything too much happened. Before it got worse. <laughs> yes. It's like when I you was trying to like collect everything that was already. It's like said. when you keep pressing the home button on your iPhone, that shit won't reset. Bro, like, the, mo- like, the moaning is in the background. Nigga. You're trying to swipe away. <laughs> he looked at us away. dead serious. He said, "Oh, I'm just Oh, I get my ass eaten all the time. All the time. All the time. I've never had somebody admit that." That comfortable. Bro, right, it's so like, comfortable. Uh, Let me ask you a question. Yeah, right, go ahead, go ahead. First time, right? Yeah. And are these are these women like your girls or are they just like 
like once and smashes. All right, so I'm gonna set it up like how he set it up, right? Okay. <laughs> so quick story. I met this old head. This old head was like, I you've never been oh, loved. If you you've never been her. loved if you've never got your ass ate. I said I well, love her already. I, Recommend her. I, I said I thought I thought I've been loved. So, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I felt like I've been loved. I've felt loved before. It's not, so, not real love. <laughs> one of my exes, right? Me and them were in a relationship. They had asked me. I was like, don't ever ask me no shit like that again. Right? That's why I would tell my wife. Don't ever I said, don't ever ask me no shit like that again. Mm-hmm. Sure enough, I run into the old head. He told me that shit. I was like, Okay. I gotta try it now. <laughs> now, now I have to. Try I gotta, it. I gotta go experience but, love. But the problem is, how do you propose that to, to somebody that you just threatened to not a, too long ago? To a woman. You know? So, no, that's so funny. So I proposed it one day. I was like, "Yo, like, go do, go lower." But you asked said, to get go, your ass eaten. No, she was looking the gooch. I said, "Go lower." Yeah. <laughs> well, you, 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 at, you said it. You I said, like, go push lower. Her head down. Like just, during it, during. You know, low, that's what yeah. niggas do. Oh, so like, it wasn't like a. Like a before the, conversation. The before that, conversation was when she asked the first time. Okay. But so that I was, was like, oh, that's a green light from the first time. Oh, so she's like, right. she's open to the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then she was okay. looking yo, at Gucci and I said, go low. Yeah, what kind of man did she take you for that she asked you that, though? Not, she proposed it in a weird way, too. She was like, so. I mean, one how night you I proposed was, that in a normal she way? Was like, <laughs> she was like, <clears throat> she was like, one night I was, um, she told me, she brought it up like regular conversation. So she was like, yeah, one time I tried to eat my ex's ass when I was drunk. Hmm. <laughs> didn't say nothing, right? I knew where this conversation was going. <laughs> she was just, prepping you. Just, you just left oh, it. Right. Said, she mm. was prepping you. I said, mm. right? Left it there. <laughs> then she brought it up again, like actually asked me if I would do it. And I was like, nah. I knew you were asking. You were, this is what you were probing me for from back then. So then, yeah, she did it the first time. I was like, this shit fire. Yo, that's kind of weird that like she had a craving for ass. <laughs> to Yo, eat ass. I'm not going to lie to you. You talk about your asshole never talks to you. Oh, Your ass will be talking to you? It don't talk to you. But I tell you what. <laughs> hey, yo, wait. That shit definitely be whispering. That shit be whispering. Be whispering I, have I have a fucking question. Yes. <laughs> that shit be whispering, nigga. I can't believe I'm Only hearing because all this shit right I guess we're this fucking comfortable at this yeah, point. Go so ahead, I'm going to fucking ask We're too deep in. Yeah, we're this deep in. Yeah. When, you, when, you, when you're getting it done, like... There's no, there's are no you on masculine your back or you bent over? There's no masculine way to get your ass laid. I'm telling you that right now. You're not... The only way is probably Captain Morgan style and well, outside of that, Morgan style. Standing that's, up and knee up. That's the only masculine yeah. way outside of that, bro. But that's like, there's no masculine that's way not, to do that's it. Not, Lay down on your stomach and spread like, your cheeks. Imagine, imagine a girl yes. on her knees. Yes. Nah. <laughs> Nigga, imagine a girl on her knees under your legs trying to lick your ass. Yeah. Yo, you but, see, yo, I, I, have a, I, have, yeah. I have like a habitual fear of it because if you get to the balls, I'm pushing your head up. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. Nah, I'm pushing it. Down. Are you, you gonna talk- stay? I'm Are you gonna down. stay right there? You said oh. most niggas ain't clean. I got a bidet, bro. Oh. I don't use toilet paper. You my nigga. See, I, my nigga. I was I was gonna try the bidet thing. I'm trying to get, a bidet, my, trying to get that thing. rich where every house have a bidet. Yo, I need that much money, yo. It's like fifty bucks, bro. That's it. You can get you get an attachment. Yo, you can put on a regular toilet. I'm gonna go on Amazon. Amazon, you get my order, sponsor me. I'm about to get a bidet in my house, and my ass Yo, he, is going to be clean. Been, he's been like preaching this to me for years now to get one. Yo, I, no, and I, getting his ass I'm, I'm big on bidets. I think bidets is the best way to clean your Yo, ass. Maybe that's why I haven't gotten the bidet. <laughs> like, I don't know. Get your ass you think get get I don't know what's next. <laughs> yo, it's a, it's yo, the gateway drug yo, to get your ass yo, in. But, but day is a slippery slope, yo. You know what it was a couple Literally. years ago? <laughs> <laughs> a couple years ago, when everyone was going crazy over toilet paper. I was like, you know what? I got I'm just, I'm just get a bidet. Right. I'm gonna just buy one. As long as my water bill ain't too high, yo, during um, COVID. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. This nigga was smiling. So on yeah, the I get my ass eat habitually. I like it. Mm, that's cool. I like yo, it. that's him, and I, and I respect I him for it. it. Yo, he's ten toes Honestly, down on it. I love you guys already, just because. <laughs> if you ever want to admit that, yeah, yo, you, 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 I, I love the transparency over here. To be honest, yeah. it's a safe shit. space right here. I'm thinking you know? about what some shit I did. I ain't want to tell nobody. He gonna, he gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. Now. See yo, <laughs> so, yo he got. I just admitted that I tried it on oh, here. Yeah, I got it done. I got it done. Yo, so he, his thing is getting his ass. My thing is, I like getting my toe suck. I like my fingers suck. No, that's no, that's amazing too. Yo, have you got your toe sucked? No, I'm yo, scared because I'm Jamaican toes. Yo, if you think, why well, get pet? I start getting pedicure. barefoot toes in a hot yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm an outcast here. in this room. I don't got no. Go- if it was up to me, we could just do missionary all night. I'll be straight. That's it. <laughs> this guy having sex with the lights off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, he don't he make eye contact. Yeah, don't make eye contact. He bends you over so he don't see your eyes. <laughs> Let's get this shit done. Don't look at me. <laughs> yo, after, yo, after, he's, after he's done, 
<laughs> yeah, after he's done, he just closes his fucking robe like, you don't touch me. No, no, no. When he's done, he just roll over and turn his back Whoa. to you. Exactly. Yeah, I go to sleep. <laughs> Those the blanket over. Those the blanket over. <laughs> that motherfucker's overcomplicated sex when it's all one goal. Okay. <laughs> to nut. Yeah. Let's get to it. To finish it. I all guess, right. man. So I got yeah. All right. I got a story for y'all, and I need some feedback. <laughs> You know, you, you know parts of this story, right? Okay. Because it made me think about it when you said you went to Florida. Yo, so not too long ago, right? I went to Florida um, to go to my boy's house. So I was staying with them. This is like my boy for years. He used to live out here, move down there, right? So I go there for my birthday weekend. So he, we're going out. We're going to parties, clubs, and stuff like that, right? So he got, he got like a girl out there. That's a shorty. She lives in the same building as him. I met her. Real cool girl, right? So one night we all go out as me, my boy, and his girl. So we go to like a like techno club type shit. You know, it's like they got the yeah, yeah. Like you know uh, what I'm saying? Like uh, that. Forgot the fucking yeah. bump to that yeah. bitch. Like EDM, yeah. EDM, EDM. Yeah. 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 So yo, dope, dope vibe, right? Mm-hmm. I'm real. I'm like I get real fucked up that night, right? But yo, when I get fucked up, I remember. I don't black out. You feel me? Like I'll get fucked up, but I know what the fuck happened, mm-hmm. right? Yo, you we go- choose to do the dumb shit you do. <laughs> In a sense, <laughs> yo, you know what it is? It's like, yo, in a, it's like my reservations are kind of gone. Where my yeah, body, yeah, like, it's right. like things I would normally say no, no, no to. Yeah, it's like it can go this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, yo, so I'm same way. Yo, we go out, have a good time, go home, no issues, right? The next day, um, he comes up to me. He's like, yo, he asks me, yo, did you think my girl was a little like, like too friendly to you last night? And I'm like, kind of an odd question, right? Yeah, I'm like, nah, she was normal, like, um, nothing. Like I didn't feel, I didn't feel anything. Like you know what I mean. <clears throat> so then he asked him, he was like, "Yo, did you grab her ass last night?" I was like, "Did you?" No. <laughs> no <what? laughs> yo, so I'm like, cause, cause I'm like, yo, why? She, cause he's like, yo, she told me you grabbed her ass. So I'm like taken back. You feel yeah. Me? Cause yo, I'm the type of dude where I've like, yo, never heard. Yo, so somebody with melon says taken back. Where? So, no, <laughs> that's how taken back I was. <laughs> My guy was flabbergasted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yo, I'm like, cause I'm the type of dude I pride myself on not being like. I think to me that's like one of the. You being a real nigga. Yo, I think that's one of the shadiest thing a man yeah, can do yeah. to, to his friend. I don't it's, look at my exactly. girl's ass. Yeah, yeah, you never girl, look at right? your niggas' girl's yo, ass. Cause they all ugly to me. Yeah, exactly. Facts. Yo, so I'm like, and yo, and and she's a very nice woman, right? But like. If there was ever be a situation where like I would even do that slime ball shit, right? It's like she's not even my type of girl. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, like I won't even fuck you. I don't like I don't like you know like I don't want to be disrespectful about. It. Like she's just it not my type. Is. Yeah, she's it's, not my it type of girl. Right? Like, not he, everybody's she's fuckable. for him, right? So then he's like, um, so I'm like, nah, bro. Like, and she, I'm like, he, she told you. That? I'm like, yo, I got to Like, I'm like, call her right now. Like, we gotta like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta get to the bottom of that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta have a conversation, right? And then he's like, nah, I don't even worry about it. Like, yo, I can talk later. Yo, then he's like, yo, but he's like, then he's like, but, but he's like, yo, I saw you grab her ass. I was like, wait, what? Like, cause then it's like, first of all, I was like, yo, then why did you even ask, ask me? It. Right. And I'm like, but he's like, yo, the, I, I saw you do it. But then it's like, you didn't really grab it. Like, I guess when you were like fist bumping, like you just touched it, touched, like, I don't know, graze it or something like that. And I'm like, but I'm telling you, like, I'm the type of guy that's like, yo, I remember everything when I'm drunk. So, yo, it got me feeling real weird after that shit. Cause, like, so eventually I this year that day and I'm like, hey, sorry that, like, there was this miscommunication. She's like, don't worry about it. But now I feel uncomfortable yeah, to right. be around her. And it's like, I was like, damn, but boy, I, it made me think, like, yo, why did you even, like, phrase, like, the whole the question, way you question yeah. like that? Like, that was <laughs> weird. To confront me. me. Don't question me. Yeah. Just, just, yo, cause, like, he asked me, but he said he saw me already do it. But then yeah. it's like, why didn't you just have if that you conversation? Saw me, be like, why did you touch my girl's ass? Yo, but like, why don't we have that conversation the second it Facts. happened, right? Facts. If it did happen. Facts. But then even then, right? Why would you tell me, oh yeah, when you were fist bumping? Obviously it was a mistake. Yeah. Which I don't like think like I don't know. He says he saw it, she I, she says she felt it, but it's like it was a crowded area. And I just don't even like but that's Yo, but I'm then saying. it's like Cause then, like, cause like, yo, a grab is a grab. A, yeah, like, it's a squeeze. Uh, yo, a, yo, a <laughs> fist bump graze is like way different. I would say stop being friends with him. The only reason I would say it mm. because if he gets the wrong idea how you look at his girl, he'll kill you. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna. I, I, I'm God not damn, gonna stop being. It okay. don't have to be what you think it is. Yeah. It's a matter of what he thinks it is. That's an interesting point. It don't matter what you think it is, money. It don't matter your intentions. It's just a matter of what he thinks it is. I would That's just, scary. I would just say be wary of 
how you go about like next time if you do go see him, grab a hotel, mm. stay with him. You know, it's fine. Fine. I wouldn't even dance near his fine. girl. Yo, but I, yo, you know what I mean? told myself, like, yo, I don't ever want to be around that girl. Yeah, by my, yeah, yeah, yeah. By my, I don't want to. I don't want to be within like five feet no, of her. Yeah, like, friends yeah, with yeah. you until you stop. If, unless y'all break up, because now to me to come around, it's gonna always reignite that moment with me. Yeah. You know, I'm always gonna feel uncomfortable, no matter how That's comfortable fact, we get yeah. with each other. So I can never be around y'all comfortably. Yeah. So why would the fuck would I even yo, choose to be in that situation moving forward? And the crazy shit is like, yo, she's a real nice girl. Like I like her for him, and, and that's my yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, but that mm-hmm. ruined it. Yeah, and it's like it was just uh, yeah, it was a weird. Si- I've never been in that like type of situation where like one of my <laughs> friends accused me oh, of like yeah, doing yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. shady I've been shit. There, and I just stopped being friends with both of them. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, until that nigga broke up with her. Okay. Yeah, because at that point, I'm not gonna lose my friend over a bitch that you just met. What was your story? She accused you, or did he think that you you wanted her? Honestly, it just got awkward because she felt like I wanted her. So okay. I didn't like that at all. Right. Because in my head, if I'm out with you, because the only time you're with me is with your nigga. Yeah. I don't even look at these you know bitches what's crazy? with your nigga. Rick Ross has a line. He says, I told Meek I, ne- I would never trust Nikki. Instead of beefing with your dog, I just gave him some distance. Oh. Facts. Because to me, i rather maintain my friendship or or continue my friendship later on have a after that phase of yeah, your life yeah, okay. yeah. than to completely obliterate my friendship At the over time. a girl. Yeah. Because not a lot of women are permanent. Mm-hmm. A lot 90, of my temporary. 90% of women exactly. are, are and permanent. Exactly. And I'd rather maintain my friendship with somebody who's been there for years mm-hmm. than to lose that over somebody who might not even be in their best interest. Because mm. now, once they leave, now we have to go over the awkward moment now we got to talk about what happened for us to start being friends again. It's like, no, nigga, at that point, I don't even want to talk about it. So we're just not going to be friends no more. Okay. That's just me to keep it a bug. I yeah. don't like certain things. Like, if I already processed it and moved on from it, I don't care where you are with it. In That's a fact. <laughs> don't bring this shit up again, nigga. I, yeah, I, I already moved on, bro. I'm you can talk to me. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. That's just me. See, yo, I'm, still, I'm still processing it. And it's like, like I said, this is my boy. And it's like, obviously, when I go there, it's like so much cheaper just to stay with them, right? Mm-hmm. But I was thinking, like, next time if is I it do really it, cheaper. Oh hell yeah! Like, no, I don't got I'm, talking about, I'm talking about in totality. Tomorrow, like, not I, just financially. Is it really cheaper? Because it's still taxing your heart. It's still oh, I mean, I was into it. I mean, it was like no, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, no, I get, I get what still, you're saying. It's I, I like, like that ex- un- un- just unnecessary yeah, energy yeah, on, on that's spir- there. On a spiritual so level, to yeah. me, it's not cheaper. To me, I would rather overpay for the convenience. But I think this the difference is that this is a one-off situation. Yeah, but in this economy. I'd rather be more spiritually stressed than financially stressed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I respect I that. I hear you. I hear you. But I that's why you. I nah, always I say, instead of me stopping to smoke weed to make more money, I just make more money to smoke more, more weed. weed. <laughs> I, I it got applies got for more than one situation. It's Thanks. just the idea of never limit yourself for the circumstances that you're in. Change your circumstances so you don't have to limit yourself. Mm. That's like honestly that. that's honestly what that statement is. That's honestly why I say that. So only if you have a bigger picture type of thinking that's the only way you're gonna get it i like i mean yo like i said i'm still kind of slightly processing it but like like it was weird because like he he wasn't mad about it she wasn't mad about it it was just like an but awkward he felt away yeah he, he obviously, no, he, I, obviously mm-hmm. yeah i think he felt some type of way and, and it's if like, it was a great yo, and, yo, and one of those situ- those situations with your girl and your boy is always kind of tough because like in a way you kind of got to side with your girl yeah no matter what you know mm-hmm. what i mean it's like it's just how no, you have no choice. Yeah. Because even if that bitch wrong, you still have to. Yeah. You still have to. And that's honestly why I'm scared of being back in another relationship. See, mm-hmm. but that's... I've Because bitches don't like being I've told learned, that they're dumb. Yeah, but I've been learning, right, that... Like, people say pick your battles. But when you do, you make sure you stand on that shit. If you told me my friend grabbed your ass, and if I saw it, and if I saw it, saw it was a swipe, I'm like, yo, he swiped it. It was an accident. <laughs> I'm, yeah, not gonna, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to defend you in no type of way. I'm but I'm not going to defend him. I'm just going to defend yeah. the situation. No, the truth. You're going to defend the truth. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to defend the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. you're not going to make me have a bad relationship with my friend because now I got to be some awkward. Like, Yo, what if bro. you didn't see it, though? Huh? What if you didn't see it? That makes it even harder. That, that, that makes it worse. And that's different. That makes it worse because now it just shows <laughs> that you would literally go in a situation even with your closest people around you without logical understanding of mm-hmm. the situation. Like, that's dangerous already. Because mm-hmm. if you're close to your wife and you're close to your friend that's been there technically before your wife, 
you should know how to handle that situation that you don't ruin. I mean, but like, how, how do you handle it? So like you, like you're married. You've mm-hmm. been in real life for X amount of time. If what I if it was like a, some, a close friend, like a close, close friend? Like, I did like, all right, yeah. You, you, uh, I was gonna sorry. say you, but I didn't want to put you. I didn't want to put you in that situation. Shorty came up to you and be like, "Yo, O'Shane." I would just ask you. I just like, "Yo, did you do that?" He says no, and she says, "Yeah." Like, I need to hear this circumstance. I need to. We need to talk this out. Yo, it, it's and like, if it comes to that point, I'm just gonna be like, "Yo, you just can't be around if he's around." It just yeah. that's how I separate. Yeah, honestly, at that point, that's yeah. how I separate yeah. it. I would just be like, "That's how we gotta separate it." Until we get to a comfortable point where we can be at this meaty medium ground. I mean, but, but I what think, if she feels like you're not? You're picking. Him over her. Oh, uh, I can answer this question for him. <laughs> I can <laughs> okay. answer this question for him. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Let me see if you're going to get this right. He's already married. He don't give a fuck. You either going to believe him that's the truth or not. Or you can leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I don't got too much to argue about. I, right. I'm not, that's the dead truth of that my one. My wife, right? And I'm trying to work on it so bad. <laughs> and I promise you, if you see this, babe, I really be trying to work on this shit. But once I get my shit off, and if you don't understand that, I'm not saying nothing else. Oh, you're not going back and forth. No, oh, no, I'm not. He, like, he don't do, like, honestly, as, a, as his friend, my nigga, he don't put himself <laughs> in situations to defend himself. Okay. For, like, he don't. For what reason? Yeah, like, if you know your truth, you know your truth. Exactly. That, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, he it. don't, my nigga. I'm I can not, speak I can on respect, that. I can respect that, yo. I can speak on that. Like, yo, even, and, you know, and, even on the podcast, when I get too wild, the first thing that comes out of his mouth is, I love my wife. <laughs> I'm serious. When oh, I get too wild, the first thing he say before I go any further is, I love my wife. Yeah. Because he wants to always let it be known that his wife is always there even if she's not there. So mm-hmm. it's a priority. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. So that's why she, like, speaking from the outside, she can never really feel away because he speaks. I pri- in, yeah, he I prioritizes that, home at all times. Seriously. No matter where it goes, no matter where the conversation go, his wife, his home, his family is always number one. Okay. Always, it never faults. It never alters in any way, shape, or form. So th- that's why I can s- even speak on that for him mm. in every. Because I, I go there. Mm. I go there. Mm. I say I really am. wild shit. I ain't gonna do it. But he's the <laughs> one that brings it right back. Yeah. Right. So I, I got right another back. question then. Mm-hmm. So since you since you go there, let's say the tables were turned, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just say O'Shane, O'Shane. Mm-hmm. Let's just say you saw, you set you you go to him. And you say I saw your wife doing X, Y, and Z. I wish somebody did that for me. It's happened to me before. <laughs> oh, I would. Why it's do you wish that it happened to me before? No, nah, I would. I would. I would my I friend it. comes to me and tells me my wife is doing something. I believe him. Honestly, really? About no, like off the cuff. Yeah, yeah, not, I, I, he know with me. I would not bring anything up unless 100%. it's uh, it's something that I really. I it think might be trauma be because it's happened. Yeah, to and me it might before. not be true. But right. if in my head I feel like it's a problem, he knows I'm gonna bring it up. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is when so we you, f- you 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 trust him. So now, what if it's like some like me? You just met me today mm-hmm. in person. So like, what if I come to you in a couple months from now and be like, "Yo, I saw your wife doing X, Y, and Z." Would it is there like a different? Would you believe me less because like you know yes, me? Yes, I would believe you less. Nope. Because, he said no. <laughs> he no, said, no, I would. He said no. I've had I'm looking for a reason. Let him answer. Let him answer. I've had trauma like. I'm gonna bring this up, right? All right go ahead. And I've, I don't know how many times I've talked about this. First time here. Ever I think I think it's <laughs> first time here. <laughs> so I had an ex, right? We were going through some rough situations, you know, you, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. We've been together for a while, like five years or so, like that yeah. around the time. So we're going through some times, and you know, we're slipping off a little bit. But I'm motherfucker. I'm still in love. Like right. you know, what I'm saying I'm not trying to like go. Oh, she's she's still in it. Yeah. She's not in it. I could tell emotionally yeah. she's really not in it. You already know when a woman checked out. Yeah, I know, you know. Yeah. But I'm trying to so you sure you still try to hold on. You're trying to hold on to it, yeah. So dummy. Yeah. I was a dummy. <laughs> I was a like, love shit. Whatever. Like love does that. Young love, young love. Yeah. Love no, does love that. make you stupid at all times, stupid, no matter how old you are. <laughs> but I she's already doing her thing. And I've kind of picked up on it. You know, when you look through a nigga, you see a motherfucker picture pass by and your girl liked it. Yeah. You're like, oh, all right, cool. He posted another picture like two. Years. Wait, why the fuck you like this one too? Oh, are we creep? Are we creeping this shit? Oh yeah, I was mad, bro. Cause I'm like, wait, what? Cause like back to back likes. A big, there's a big story behind this one. Okay. Thing. So I could, I could, I could go into why I looked at it suspiciously, right? Trust issues. Yeah. No, not trust issues. I knew. Damn, I want to sell this so bad. But you ain't trust the bitch. Whatever. All right. I fuck it. I don't care no more. Yeah. I was fucking her right at school, <laughs> and the nigga Facetimed her, bro. What? So I'm That's like, crazy. yo, what's well, this? Why? What's this? I'm like, yo, pick up the phone. 
She's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, Wait, pick up the you phone. came out the pussy to tell her to pick up the now, phone? No, I was just, I, was, I literally just finished, bro. That, Impeccable ugh. timing. Tell me the, the <laughs> funny. He couldn't even, he couldn't even enjoy it. Like, he couldn't hey, even man. enjoy it enough. Like, his body just come. Yeah, bro, <laughs> I just came over the, the stiff back, feel me? <laughs> yeah. stiff I got back. the stiff back. I was like, like, oh, no, my face. Uh, I just got over that. Got the silver yeah. back gorilla going. Yeah, this nigga uh, come calling the phone, yeah. nigga. And then I see the nigga FaceTime. I'm like, yo. Not even a phone call, FaceTime. So they, they so comfortable. It's personal. It's they personal. comfortable. <laughs> and feel me, she think I'm stupid, bro. Right. Like, them nigga ain't gonna FaceTime me. Oh, it must have been an accident. I'm like, <laughs> how you get your number in the first place? Accident. Like, oh, no, nah, but we had see, a sex accident. See, damn, this story gets deeper and deeper. Damn <laughs> like, it. Fuck, damn. All right, I'll tell this. I'll tell it. I'm already there. So if anybody sees this, that was a part of this. Fuck it, it is what it is. Right. He's, he's married now. Oh, yeah, and married he's happily committed to his wife and exactly. his loving children. So. <laughs> We went to New York one Valentine's and my phone had died and she posted a snap with me. He's like, oh, tell Quad hit me up or whatever. She, I was like, tell my phone that whatever. It was like, give me your number. Like, just whatever. Like, we'll link up with him later or whatever. But I, in my back of my head, I knew that was a mistake. Mm-hmm. But I'm like. Was he your nigga? I, 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 I've chilled. I'm more cool with his people's. Oh, okay. I know his people. So she, but she association. knows she he, knows him through you. No, not really. This is okay, okay, okay. I, I, I'm I'm diving too deep. Go ahead, <laughs> go, ahead, go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let's just. I say, feel like we're, we're just going down the rabbit. Let's just say it's it's town shit. Okay, okay. it's town shit. Yeah, let's yeah, just say it that yeah. way. It's town shit. Right. But regardless, you know, he gets the number, or whatever. But I never end up blinking with him, or whatever. So that she use that. I'm like, why do you even have that nigga number saved? Oh, you know, blah, 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 whatever. But whatever. She ended up fucking with this nigga. I had a few friends know about this and neglect to tell me. Ooh. I legitimately pick, and my nigga, you know who I'm talking to, too. Because <laughs> I give him shit about this all the time. He's, like still my, he's still my brother to this day, but Lex, I still give him shit about this. Because that he knew? I know that Lex don't move no, like no, that. That he knew? Oh, huh? He, he because knew. he knew? I'm give you this right here. Okay. I go pick this nigga up from a house party and I see her car. Oh, I think I know he might be talking. So about. I go, yo, I'm about to go in and say what up. He's like, no, 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 no. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's trying to like. He's trying to protect you. Well, he technically told you you just didn't pick up. No. Because. Now, I, I, assen- essentially, right? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, nah, that's how what? niggas tell niggas. Like, nah, that ain't the one, my nigga. She a hoe, dog. But, <laughs> no, but I'm saying, but she, like, she in the. Obviously, she in there wilding. And but he she know he but the thing about this is, but this thing about it is right. This is not a house party, like a random house party. This is somebody I know. We all know this somebody. Yeah, yeah, know somebody that I've been around the mutual. No, I'm saying, but yo, he just, yo, so yo. if she go sneak, she ain't gonna sneak around the, a group that of motherfuckers. They, they, nah, but she gonna sneak around. She gonna fuck around with her friends to know that that she doing whole shit. Right. So she's like, nah, nah, nah. Let's, let's, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying, but. No, that's shady. Couple friends. That's shady. I've had a couple friends. That's shady. Like, first of all, if we're in the same situation and you know a bitch that I'm fucking and you're currently, I was fucking, that was that was you don't that hit that my way. mind the same yeah, time yeah, it hit yours because I thought about shady, it after. Wait, like, nah, like be like, yo, right. my nigga, keep it a buck, dog. Show it that you're cracking, dog. I hit that the other. I'm night. gonna be. Like, okay. You gotta at least be. Damn, buck this story with that. gets deeper and deeper. You gotta be at least mm-hmm. a buck with that, my so, nigga, because so, now I I don't trust you. So I so after the phone call, right? I happened to go to an event. Do happen to be there. Okay. Yo, bro, man, I ain't even mean to call shorty. You know what I mean? We boy, I wouldn't even do that to you. Damn. But he did it to you. Oh, so in you, my face. So, you, so he says it. He says this to your face. In so my like, face, like, yo, yeah. I wouldn't even do that to you. We boys and, and persist and the whole nights. Persist the whole night to try to be your yeah, nigga around. Yeah. Oh, like you think I'm pussy? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's what he see. That's, that's pretty much what it was. See, that's what, that's what. But see. That's more pussy to me than you thinking I'm. No, pussy. no, for sure. For that sure. nigga is not a man. You might think I'm stupid. Yeah, but I'm not. I already peeped yeah. in. Once he told me that, I'm like, oh, I already got confirmation. He, how you doing? He going too hard. I call Shaw. I say, yo, why? Why this nigga approached me? I told me how he know. How he know? That how he know, know that? I know. know that I know that, that you that called. That he call. Yeah. And she just had nothing to say. I was like, oh, okay, all right, cool. And that was. And then I caught this this bitch leaving this nigga house one morning. We was going to some little shit. I'm like, oh wow, that's where she coming from. I didn't even think about that. And that was your, that was your girl. Yeah, but we was on the. But I mean, I told her one day. I'm like, yo, bro, just tell me what you're doing, so I could so I can know how I'm moving by myself. But I was still in love, so you know, yeah, you try yeah, to. Yeah. So you were saying a little bit. So you were saying tie tie that into this situation. You said you want someone to tell you now. Yeah, hell yeah, hell nah, yeah. Yo, I, I won't yeah. care. Hell yeah, but or or more or less, I'm not. I'm not gonna go. 
my girl would never do that. Just because I don't know you, my girl would never do that. No, 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 I'm not gonna take. Yo, I think that's, yo, I think I'm gonna look into it. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna approach her on it. Yo, what's 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 this with See, this? Talking about this that. I think that's that, the yo, I think that's the dumbest thing that's any any man could ever say. Yo, that's don't don't ever say my girl would never do that. <laughs> but Dudes also, are that dumb. Like, let me play devil's advocate. Do you feel like that's the problem with our generation? What that we can't even trust our significant other to be right by us. I, I think bro, that's a, a fault by me. I think that's like, no, no, that's I'm a like, fault no, by so me. Saying, but it might be, be real. Be real. Like, nah, be yeah, real. I'm going to keep real with you right now. Yeah? Yo, if your girl has any type of social media and she goes out with her friends, there's a chance she cheats on you. Point blank. I, be, I, and I believe that wholeheartedly. I'm saying like, I'm not saying the chances are high, but if she has social media in Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and she goes out like with the girls. She has girls nights out quite frequently. There's a good chance that she's cheated on you. Yo, but now I'm gonna say this. But there's levels of cheating. There is. Like, has she full out like took a cheating? dick to the forehead? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I I run around the mascara fucked it's up. Like cheating. It's what? flirting cheating. Yes. Like oh, just yeah. verbal flirting. That's yeah, cheating. Yeah, yeah. Yo, cause yo, anything that she's not gonna do when I'm there is cheating. So if yeah, yo, cause if she's flirting with the guy verbally. And I walk in that shit. You know that shit gonna get so shut down. So if she at right? work and she got a work husband, that's cheating. Yeah. No, we're not doing work husband shit. I'm gonna kill that. Yo, yo, it's that's it, yo, crazy. I, I <laughs> crash out about that shit, bro. Yo, I'm kill it's, him. it's cheating, but is it like breaking up worthy cheating? Yeah. There's, okay. That that okay. that's the difference. Okay. So if that's the case, do we all cheat? Yeah. All right, wait, 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 wait. Nah. Wait. He said, don't drag me into this. Don't like, put me we? In this. I know we, we nigga. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, but I ain't going to say that. We's a lot of no, people, yo, nigga. Yo, yo. No. <laughs> he, like, said, he said, we, nigga. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me stop you right there. <laughs> Before you go I love promise, my sir, wife. I, I love keep my, my name. Wife. I keep my wife's name <laughs> out your mouth. Yo, but that's, yo, but yo, I, I'll, I'll say this. Yo, it's like, yo, there's cheating, and then there's like diet cheating. <laughs> Like zero, <laughs> zero, zero sugar cheese. Zero, zero sugar cheese. <laughs> nah, for real, yo. Like it was almost cheese. Like, 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 like I said, cheated. yo, like, do I, do I think my girl's like taking a dick to forehead? No. <laughs> but do I think she's like had like some type of conversation with guys while she's gone out? Most, most definitely, right? But like, but it's like, yo, would I like that shit? Like if I saw that, right? Like, like, are you, am I going to just accept it? Like, am I going to be cool with her doing that shit? No, right? Like you're going to like, yo. One the, situation is the difference for me. Okay. We're at the club and at the bar, and a nigga buys you a drink. He has to buy you two drinks. Okay. You gotta give me one. Yeah. But yo, what if you're not at the bar and she's getting drinks from another guy? You have to bring me one. No, no I'm saying, what. but you're not there. She gotta take this shit home. No, I'm cool with that. Cause honestly, <laughs> I, I'm keeping the buck. My this niggas. for my nigga. Yeah, to keep the buck, my nigga. To can, I get the, buck. can I get to go? <laughs> to keep the buck. I want to personally get to a point where I'm with somebody that I just trust. Like I don't like the feeling of not trusting somebody. It's yeah. it's, it's it's bad. It's, it's a bad. deteriorating feeling, nah, yeah, my for nigga. Sure. I think, but I think, yo, I 100%. think there's just, yo, I think there's just levels of trust. Nah, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. I want to get there. Uh, like I want to, like, yo, like yo, I, I want to get there too. But they just, always fuck I it up. Have, <laughs> like, yo, I have, I, tru- I trust, and I, my, I trust, I trust my girl. I want to trust. Like, like I want to trust. Like I don't want to be with somebody that I'm putting my penis in without a condom. And have to worry about what you're doing when I'm not around. But see, the problem... See, I had a situation very similar to what you had. Mm-hmm. Where I was in bed with my girl at the time. And her baby father calls at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. Nah, nah, that's trust issue shit. That my pro- that's and, trust issues. And now I'm wallet. Is, <laughs> rela- is it baby related? Was it baby related? I don't know. No, but not, if it's baby related, but, but now, I But the it. problem... Like, I say pick up. But now it's, why are you calling my phone this late at night? Yeah, I got to know so, why. But like, yeah, I got to know why. This, 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 there's a comfortability level for him to even think it's acceptable for him to call Unless it's phone that late Yeah, Unless it's baby related, it's cool. The baby ain't with the nigga. Oh. I should have just fucking pressed answer that night. That, that's me. Like, I don't care about that. <laughs> Instead of asking, yo, yeah, yo I, like me, I rather look at her face time. She picked up the phone. Yeah, she I picked rather up the lose phone a relationship like, because I ask questions. Man, why we picked up that phone, nigga, butt naked? Like that. What That's you doing? my what biggest you, fear. What you doing, like, baby? <laughs> <laughs> what a dick in the picture, like, what up, baby? I know, bro. Sounds like chat roulette. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was ever on chat roulette? No. No. What's up? Don't do it. Don't you don't do know it. about chat roulette? What is uh-huh. that? How old are you? I'm 33. Oh, so you should know. Nigga, chat roulette was when you go on and you like have random <laughs> people come on the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and know you don't know that. if there's yeah. a penis or a face that's going to pop up. 98% of the time, oh, it was man. a dick. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're talking it's about. Yeah, it's a one time. Chat roulette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
I forgot that you shit. You never man. know if yeah. there's a penis or a yeah. face that's gonna be in the video. Some old white man with a little right. shrivel up dick. Yeah. <laughs> Just slowly stroking this shit with two fingers. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Uh, before we wrap this episode up, um, I do got a question for both y'all. Mm-hmm. What has been the most memorable moment um for y'all since y'all started podcasting? I had smooth Haynes on here. That was my most memorable moment. I've always been I've always been a fan of Smooth Haynes for years before okay. I even got into podcasting. All right. And the minute I got Smooth on, I don't care what anybody feel, but Smooth to me is one of those artists from CT that just have a special place in my heart. So the minute we got him on, I realized anything was possible. Ooh. Like you were like, that. I made it. Yeah. Like, I literally had people who I wanted on the platform that wanted to be on the platform. Mm. That's when I knew this shit was meant for me. Yeah. Okay. I like that a lot. How about you? Yeah. Some real shit. I, honestly, I, I'm thinking, of, I don't have a most memorable moment, but I will say that every single time, like, we get in recording or we do an event, it just proves to me more and more how special this shit is. Mm. It's, so it's not a memorable moment. I'm soaking in this shit every single time. I sit, sometimes I sit there. I won't say nothing. I'm just looking in the room. We have a pre-show banter. We sit there. We chill. We talk. I'm just like, we really in a room right now with these people right now? Right. Chilling, I'm smoking with these dudes. Like, it's just and, surreal to you. Yeah, it's surreal. And then, like, and then to have people like repost our shit. Or like somebody I don't do. Like, the other day we had some uh, page just grab a post of our Don Z.O.P. episode and post it. I'm like... People are watching. Oh shit! Yeah. This is they're weird. watching me. Yeah, they're watching us. <laughs> like, oh shit! I see it. So it's not so much of a moment. It's just I'm soaking in experience. I'm soaking in the whole experience right okay. now. That's dope. I'll have a, I'll have a moment I get yo. Soon. I get. The, I get it. that shit yo. Yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah. That moment just brought, brought the stress out of me because <laughs> I'm I'm one of those people who overthink everything. Like like even when he just said like a random page just grabbed our a video and just posted. It. Like to me, that's where perfection comes in because you want every bit of the episode to just sound perfect to look perfect you just you just went back and thought about that episode specifically that's where i come in because like i said like when i'm editing those videos i want perfection yeah and it's i'm not saying perfection is always going to be a hundred percent but you still want it to be as close as possible when you're a um a small podcast um and i i hate using the word small but a a newer podcast like we are and it's like obviously you compare yourself to the big leagues, right? And nah, I, I well, I mean, that, I just know what standards I have for myself, I, just because uh, I was doing videography before I got okay, into gotcha. um podcasting. So like I know like certain standards that's come into just having mm-hmm. the subject on the the, the rule the, the um the, the rule the thirds and stuff like that. So it's yeah. like when you go back and you don't see yourself applying these little things that you learned over time, it just hits you. In a different way, because it's like it's like rookie mistakes, rookie mistakes. Yeah. But then you realize I can't beat myself up because to be real, my nigga, the niggas who's watching don't give a fuck about your rookie mistakes. Yeah. The fact that you, you just had good, yeah, they mm-hmm. don't. They don't give a fuck. They about don't. That, but I just beat myself up just because I don't want the person who's listening to us to have any inconvenience in any way. I, I want to be able to accommodate to those inconvenience before you can even think about it being mm. an inconvenience. Like, I, that's just me. I did I think you just had a real flashback movie yeah, in the <laughs> <Dazio P> episode because <laughs> something really pissed them off about, well, pissed both of us off about that episode. But. All right, before we, <laughs> before we leave off, what's the, what pissed y'all off? Yo, y'all want to talk about it or not? Um, I'll just, I'll say, I'll say this because he might, he might express this differently. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. <laughs> I like that. He has your, he has your best interest at heart, bro. Yep. I just I just I just <laughs> want to make sure I just want to make sure that my brother is not misconstrued in the wrong me way. Too well. <laughs> um, people just don't care, so they don't give a fuck about what the outcome is. They just want to be in that moment. So somebody blocked pretty much. I would say a third, maybe not third, maybe. I know not, exactly but, what you're talking about. Yeah. I know but exactly little, what you're talking about. Okay. We watched, we watched that one. There was a guy, yeah, yeah, yeah like no, literally, right. like. Yeah. So it was. I, I don't know if you cut anything out of it. Oh, I cut like probably so it like was three a lot, to five minutes. Yeah, out. it was a good amount, and it was out. good conversation yeah, exactly. that we had to cut out just because visually yeah. it didn't look right because the person who we were supposed to have on wasn't the main focus. And then of the it. worst part about it is, for me at least. Oh yeah, he looked at the camera and pointed at it. Pointed at the camera and then st- stood there. Proceed to stand in the same spot. But y'all gonna see me? Yeah, that's what that shit said. bothered me. Yeah, but yeah, but you didn't notice at the moment. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it so maybe a, he thought like you he could see you guys could see past him. No, but mm-hmm. that's the downfall of not having a team. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just me and him, so we don't have anybody. Yo, but I get it. Yo, like I said, like we have. I mean, we have moments like that all the time where it's like when you see the final product, like. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yo, but like, yo, but it's a lesson learned. Like, yeah, it's, a, it's a lesson. Yo, now you know. Like, yeah. yo, yo, that's something that's gonna stick with you. Cause anytime that Forever. shit rem- like oh, remotely yeah. starts to happen, like, yo, get the hey, fuck hey, out of here. Exactly. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. It's to the point I tell people to shut up when we start recording. Oh, yeah, no, we're not, we're Anybody not. extra, I tell them I don't want to hear a word out your mouth Nobody when we start okay. recording. Nobody All right. No, I feel you, man. But um, where can um our listeners um listen to y'all podcast? Anywhere. I mean literally Anywhere you can find a podcast, you can listen to our podcast. Just I'm pretty sure, like y'all, yeah. Anywhere y'all find Gen TV, you can find Weed and Whiskey. Okay, y'all heard them. Y'all just got the wait. Uh, wait. Oh. Yeah, I thought you were gonna go automatically with it, but all right, go ahead. I know this is your moment to shine. <laughs> I just have to say one thing that you usually say: mm-hmm. whiskey with an e. Mm-hmm. Please, everything is Weed and Whiskey podcast. Everywhere. Is whiskey not spelled Every like that? Thing. There's two different ways to spell whiskey. Really, with an e or without an e, depending on if you're in Europe or in America. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, y'all heard the man? Y'all heard the man like both of them? The men's. Yeah. <laughs> the the, the men them. The men them. Top got top boy in here. Hell yeah. Don't already dog. You ain't mean blood clot. <laughs> man, you mad. You mad. <laughs> Fucking sick. So y'all just got to listen to the best two podcasts in Connecticut. Y'all nice. decide y'all decide who's one and two. Right. Nah. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Let me wait. It's not who's one or two, it's one and A. What okay. are they? It's one and one. Even, one look, and A. Look, look, There's look, no uh, need for yeah. hierarchy. We're both nah, number I'm, I'm one. Try, I'm trying to start this podcast beef in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to start that fucking podcast, you're right, because right. we have to decide who's number one, because we feel like we're under top. I wouldn't even, we're yo, definitely exactly. in the top five. Exactly. We're definitely in the top five. So I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to say that. We are one. You could be one. You can be two. I don't give a fuck. I can't be two because two is about to be my number. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> and also, these two different races. Mm. So, you know, that's it. Okay. That's it. But I think... Uh, no, nah, I think we still can, can be comparable. Yeah. I think we still be comparable. Yo, I, I think, yo, I think, yo, I think, yo, I think, yo, yo, competition. I like it. Oh, yeah, I yo, love friendly it, too. Competition yo, is good. brings the best out of people. Yes. But one thing because I'll, a lot of people are scared to do what it's, they have to do for the content. Yeah. Yeah, no. And I know we're not. Yeah. And that's why I feel like we can compete on who could do it better for the content. Hey, don't, listen, and I like I'm it. I'm always down for <laughs> whatever. I'm always That could be a personal challenge yeah. between yeah. us. But, but, I just, yeah. but that just drives you, drives you, drives you to do better. Exactly. Yeah, just be better. Exactly. Right. Keep doing more. Because honestly, my man is getting his ass eat for the content. <laughs> that's it's, dedication. It's for, it's, for, it's for y'all. In a non-masculine <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> There is uh, no way to be known. All right, man. <laughs> well, we'll end it on that note. Uh, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all tap into their podcast. Y'all heard them. Y'all seen how it's spelled. Um, and we'll see. All right. Facts. And uh, like we always say on Weed and Whiskey Podcast, because um, we actually love us and these are brothers here, we're going to actually bless you guys with it as well, too. Oh, Grab her by the pussy with consent. The only way to do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh.